Anything Goes podcast, man. It's your boy, Sean Peoples. Hey, people, listen, man. You like our vibes? You like the movement? Like, subscribe, share. Comment in the comment section, man. Ring the notification bell so you can keep up with everything that we got going on, man. Ring the notification bell so you can find out when we get to 5000 so you can get some of the cash and prizes. You heard what Mr. Razor said. Everybody on here a millionaire except for me. <laughs> so they're going to give y'all a lot of money. That's just how they do. You know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just going to be watching. But uh, also, jump in the community tab. Vote in all the situations and all the issues that you see up there, man. It's just a, a better way for us to gauge proper content to give to you. So help us help you by giving you better content. AGP family, what's going on? What's up, T? What's going on? Mr. Racer, what's going damn, on? Damn. Shot, man, what's going on? Black Emoji. Black Emoji, what's up with you? I'm here. <laughs> I'm here with T. all the smoke. Oh, she got all the smoke today, bro. She uh, she got a, a, a official grill outside. And it got a whole bunch of smoke in it. She going to let it loose. T, what's going on? What's up? What's up? What's up? Shot. Enjoying life? Yeah, man, living and loving life, man. I'm here for that smoke. Yeah, Mr. Razor, you try to get some of this jerk chicken that uh that uh black emoji go have on the grill with that smoke. Hey, I'm trying to get some. Just tell me the time. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, uh, ladies, with our society has changed, y'all demanding more independence. Y'all telling guys that you know we should fall back, and y'all are equal at everything that a man can do, which I agree, except for changing tires because. You know, only T alone, a few girls like T can change. <laughs> For the most part, most women can't change that. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, so do now, do you think with all this equal stuff, equal rights stuff, and equality stuff that we all here at the Anything Goes podcast agree with? So uh, will y'all propose to a man? Is it okay for y'all to say, hey, it's time for us to lock this up. Let me go ahead and propose to my man, a hey, uh, Benji. Benji, we've been talking for nine years and you ain't make no move. Let me get on my knees. Benji, will you marry me? <laughs> Black emoji. What's going on? Let me know. First and foremost, I do not vote for equality. <laughs> <laughs> That's everybody else. I didn't vote for women to be equal with men. I'm sorry. I understand we got feminists here. I do not disagree with how you feel. But I didn't vote for equality. I hate when people say that. Yo, you vote. I didn't vote for this, okay? You change the tires. You do the hard work. I sit back and I chill. I didn't vote for equality. But to your question. So, <clears throat> I propose. What, for what? Why, why, would I, why would I do that to myself? Why would I embarrass myself like that to get down on my knees and pose into... So, if I get down on my knees, is he going to get down on his knees in the bedroom? For what? You proposing to him. <laughs> exactly. So I'm the man. I'm going to wear the pants. He's going to wear the skit. And he's going to be down on his knees. Is that okay? Not unless y'all okay? tra- not, not change your change. He should already be on his knees. No, I mean on his knees as in all fours. What? Since I'm going to be the one. That's a little. No, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> not the type of, this is not that type of show. Uh, <laughs> it might be, might as well be that. If I'm going to go down on my knees, propose to a whole man. So which one is the man and which one is the woman? Like, I'm so oh, serious. Oh, no. Like, but I don't think it's legal okay. for you to change body parts in America. So you know, No, but there's other things. People the are, you know. use your imagination. I don't know. Sure. I'm just saying, because, you know, I don't want the alphabet community to see this and think, you know, if I made a mistake, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry. I, do, no, I no, just don't know. <laughs> I love the alphabet community. But I'm just saying it's like, at the end of the day, why would I? This is like Africans say, hey, hold me. These people <laughs> check me out from head to toe. Like they say, balance me well, well. You put a scale and you put me and you put an emptiness, we equal, we're balanced. Why would I go on my knees, buy a whole ring to go propose to some man? No, I can't do that. The man matter. of your life, the love of he's your life. He's not the love of my life because if he's the man of my life, he would have proposed to me. Why must I propose to a man that's supposed to be the love of my life? For where? Like, Why must he propose to you? Let me ask you that. Why must he propose to you? Is where, he not the love of my it? life? Is it a is there a, a unwritten law somewhere that say man yes. must propose to a woman? And if yes. it is, I'm gonna need you to look it up while we're talking to T and and screenshot it and send it to my phone because I haven't seen it. T. <laughs> <laughs> with all that's going on in the world today, T, with equality and y'all demand equality, and we're 
And we're here at the AGP podcast. We're all with equality for women. Yeah, man, equality. Straight. <laughs> um, so if Danny wasn't popping the question, are you proposing to Danny? What is there something wrong with proposing to Danny? I'm not gonna say it's wrong. Um, but for me, hell no, I'll change this tire, <laughs> but I'm not about to sit there and propose. Why? Because I feel like if I was to propose to a man, even if he said, yeah, he's only saying, yeah, to appease me and not to embarrass me. Like if a man's ready for that commitment, then he's going to propose when he's ready to propose. Like I'm not going to try to rush the process or speed it up or take charge and think that he's scared. No, nah, because if he's scared, I don't even want him. No, way better than me because if I was a man and you proposed, I'm gonna embarrass you. No, no, I mean, I mean, I, honestly, those women who do that, I guarantee you, they know that they are probably to control the whole relationship to begin with. But they know that man ain't never gonna propose, and they know if they ask him publicly in front of everybody, he's gonna say yeah, and he'll go along with it just because he don't want to look stupid. She don't want to look stupid. He already my looks my African laugh that I saw in Rob Hart's Abishola. Eh, eh. <laughs> Hero, well, 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 I have a question for both of y'all, right? Dude. We know we know money change everything. What if this guy has Bill Gates money? But he, first he, of all, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got, I got, I got. Hold on now, hold on now. <laughs> money ain't never changed me. Hold on, hold on, hey, hold on. Hey, I, don't, I don't care how much money he got. You ain't getting... Nothing. You, you Hola. it ain't gonna change nothing. Hola. I know. Oh. I, I just want. I just wanted to ask this for black emoji. Hell oh, yeah. yes, that changed everything. She wait, wait, wait. Him. She tell you money. criteria. She said money <laughs> changes everything. They have to be criteria. <laughs> now, if, I, if I propose and there's no prenup, we get married and there's a. <laughs> Get on my, if I get on my knees and propose to you, I get fifty percent. Even if you marry me or not, if that, I'm saying if I propose, there's gonna be a contract. I get fifty percent. Even if you don't marry me, I still get fifty percent. Is, is, is that a is that is that a finder's fee? Is that a finder's fee? Exactly. No, that's a, that's exactly. a getting down on your knee fee. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh-uh. Right. But no, money ain't money ain't gonna change anything. I don't Yo. care how much money he got. I, I got a question. It ain't my money. I got a quick question for y'all ladies. Before it will be soon. <laughs> I know a lot. Of, I know a lot of women who went through divorce and broke right now. Yeah, that's why you don't. Know. <laughs> Hold up. And that ain't no guaranteed mm-hmm. meal ticket. Yeah, you ain't getting none of my money. So <laughs> eat, 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 that ain't no guaranteed meal ticket. I'll, I'll, uh-uh. I'll, I'll, I'll give it away before I let you walk away with my money. I'm not splitting half or nothing. If we didn't make half of it, you ain't getting half. Of it. <laughs> I don't care. I'll go to jail for the rest of my life. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'll be the one to suggest that prenup because he ain't gonna be throwing his money in my face. Our whole relationship, whenever he disagree with me. Let me tell you something. Money. Money. But before, so, we, before we get married, I'm, we talking prenup. And if you make any type of hesitation about this prenup, this everything is off. <laughs> I got a qu- I got a question for you. I got. A, I had a question for you guys though with that with that prenup thing though, and I always am curious about this. Why would I want to marry somebody that wants a prenup? I mean, I'm I'm serious. Why would I, I want to? Why would I want to do something like that? Why? I mean, if if we're in love, we're gonna get married, regardless of who um has the wealth or, or most of the money. Why would I want to sign a piece of paper saying that if something happens to me or you or if we decide to part ways, that I get nothing or I I, I mean, why would I even want to do that? To well, me, that I, that's so short sighted. I ain't being funny. Yeah. I ain't being well, funny, but. If you got to think that, that's because you ain't in it. Free, that, that, exactly, free exactly. Oh, thanks, oh, thanks. Those are the millionaires. Exactly. You know what exactly. I'm not being funny. I'm not trying to disrespect nobody, but thanks, to understand team. that prenup situation, you got to be in that, yeah. it, making that kind of money, which is why I said, I'm going to sit there and tell him, let's get a prenup because I'm yeah, not with you for the money, yeah, but yeah. I'm going to stay with you and we're going to enjoy it. Yeah, <laughs> it's the thing that a lot of people okay. don't understand how prenup works. Prenup is to protect the person. Now, if I'm in a relationship with somebody or uh, we about to get married and I am the guy with the money, of course, it's only common sense. Would you would you would you go to your, your investor, somebody that you trust, your lawyer, somebody that you trust? Would you sign over all your documents and all your papers to somebody, even though you trust them? 
I wouldn't even do that with my sisters and my brothers. Why would I give somebody that I'm about to marry uh, the right to be able to take the money that I work hard for, for you but to be able to tell her. me, oh, how how much of my money that I work hard for? And that, and, that, her. and that much Everything damn is, love in the world. No, whatever that is much yours, damn love in the world. No, whatever is yours is hers. Whatever is hers is hers. That's yeah, and, and that's why you need to put that crack pipe done. Because <laughs> obviously, <laughs> you know, because that's not that's not how it works. Now, don't get just, me wrong. Don't get me wrong. If I'm if I if I'm a wealthy person, and this is my money, so there's no this there's no debating on what we doing with my money. It's just not. And I don't, that and, and to each his own. If you're, but, but, man, but I feel, yeah. if you're a man that wants to share your money with some fifty percent with your with, with whoever you want to do when you get married, that's you. But with me, I'm protecting my money and the, the money that I work hard for. I'm protecting that with everything. Yeah, but you can't die with your money. They yeah. can't bury the money but with I, you. Someone has to. I, 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 who told you that? They could <laughs> draw. I could draw every bit out of it and put it in my casket when they bury me. Oh no! Then we're gonna have to. Do and that. I say this. Um, go ahead. Um, go ahead and say it. The short man, because short man, you, I get where you're coming from, um, but I think the majority of us, we're all um, a lot older now. We're a lot more established now um, than we were like 20 when you meet somebody and y'all actually build and bond, you know what I mean? So like when you enter relationships at this point in the game, like me as a woman, I know what I bring to the table. So I'm not going to deal with someone who brings less or it doesn't even have the goals or ambitions to get to that. You know what I mean? But if I was, then I'm going to want to protect myself because part of me is going to be like, this dude ain't been able to get it together before. What, what means he's going to get it together now? He might just be using yeah, me. And that's, yeah, that's why people do that. You know, we're not yeah. building anymore. Most of us are yeah. interim relationships established. Yeah. And, I can, and, and I can understand that. And, and that makes and that makes good sense. Uh, and that, that makes a lot of sense. I was just thinking in terms of, you know, if if. I decide I'm going to be with this person. And if we're going to be in it together, um, you know, and I don't think you would pick someone necessarily that's without goals anyway. Right. So if you mm -hmm. pick somebody, if you pick somebody with goals um, that you think is on par uh, with you, um, then I just don't, I just don't think something like that is, is, is necessary. Uh, and I get what Sean uh, is saying. I, I can see what Sean is saying about wanting to protect uh, your assets and everything else. I, I get that. But if you have a person that, that you love, that, that you trust, that should be reasonable, they wouldn't like they wouldn't do anything to harm you. At least exactly. that's I mean, that's how I'm looking at it. Oh, man. That's how right I'm looking there, at it. That. Right there. You're living in La La Land. Cause that's not how life works, bro. Well, that's yeah. not I, I, I'm, I'm too optimistic. I'm too positive. Yeah, and, and, oh, and, mm -hmm. and, and, and it might be great maybe, on maybe. your side of, and on your poll uh, uh, in your family. That that you might that that you might happen to be lucky like that. If anything ever happened, God forbid, that your wife might might look at it and say, you know, we work for this together. Let's split it. But a lot of the time, that's not how it works. You have yeah. th th there's a reason why there's there's a prenup. It 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 came in existence for a reason. It came in, yeah. in they, they, they want they want the cats. They want the cats. The dogs. They want everything. Right. Listen, that, I, if, I get you. If I have to have a conversation with somebody about. Me married, not want you, me wanting you to sign a prenup before we can get married, then we're not going to get married. So we're not going to debate about how I spend my money. We're not going to debate because this is my money. This is if, if I meet you. And then sometimes remember that sometimes even though you might meet somebody that's on your level, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're on your level wealth wise. They might they might they might be smart, educated, have a great job making one hundred thousand dollars a year. But when you're worth five, six, five, six, seven, 10, 15, 20, or a hundred million dollars. Now you have to protect yourself. You have to protect yourself from that person because we all know marriages don't, don't always last. You know, at we, how many people, you know, married and got a divorce. So imagine like, like T say, being on a different level now as a kid, you are quick to marry somebody. But as a man now that own properties have investment and stuff, I'm I'm giving that away to somebody if I don't protect it, and that's stupid. Mm -hmm. Well, 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 well I think I think I think what what Charman is saying. If if I built with somebody from I was eighteen, that's not what he was saying. So that, we're not we're not gonna go to it if he was built with somebody. What he yeah. was saying is if you get you finding somebody and you marrying, like I like I said in my statement, and I want I want to reiterate this. If me and you make money together. 
There's no way that I'm trying to stop you from getting your, your percentage of your money or your half of the money. What I'm talking about is me being a millionaire coming into a relationship with a young lady and she telling me that she's not going to sign a prenup because she don't like she don't like that. I don't want to split my money with her. That means she already have in her head that, hey, if this doesn't work, I'm leaving with half of your stuff or I'm leaving. Yeah. With, I need a percentage of your stuff. And this is well, my stuff, not ours. Prenup, though, mm -hmm. the thing with a prenup or not, when you get married to somebody, even if you don't have a prenup, you're going to get something. So No, that's not true. This is Virginia. Well. You need to look up your state. Mm -hmm. laws and nah. and I don't, I'm not going to get, true. well, Virginia the rich people. Getting, you ain't getting nothing. <laughs> not getting nothing. <laughs> Virginia Commonwealth, they make up nothing. laws don't as they go me. along. You're not getting nothing. <laughs> we're going, we're going to get eloped somewhere else. <laughs> no, we're not. And, and that's she said, why. Go, she said go to Vegas and get married. Go uh, yeah, that's why you got people that knows how the law works. That's why you get a prenup because they mm -hmm. put these things into action they know that people think like you will be like i'm gonna run here and get this and they're gonna stop that that's why these laws are put into place like i said they didn't just come up and say you know what i think there should be prenups no that because <laughs> people think like you would think that i'm supposed to get something from somebody else that you didn't earn no but you I didn't earn none of my hold money on, hold, on. hold on hold on hold hold on hold on let's pause first and foremost right I'm not here to come take your money. First, I'm going to enjoy your money with you because if I'm supposed no, to be that, one no, with you, no, 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 no let no. me finish, let me finish, let me finish. No. I'm going to enjoy the money. Now, what I say is half is if I'm married to you, you cheat on me, you treat me like garbage. I deserve something for wasting my time with someone who's done nothing. Like that's that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying there are women out there that just go there because let me there tell you, there is women out there that just go there. That's the there reason why women. prenup is but there. While, me, my personally, if I'm married to someone because of money. Trust me, I'm not trying to divorce you. I'm going to enjoy it till you die. Just make sure you put me in your will. You get what I'm saying? But there are... The, the, the story is you're ending. You hear what you're saying, though? You're not listening to yourself. Even though you're trying to make it sound like that's not what you're saying, you're resorting back to saying that it's all about the money. And that's why a person like me is going to block so the let hell me ask out you a question. Let me, you're not going to get saying, nothing. Even without the prenup and we work out, because there's some... Because I feel like if I was told to sign a prenup, I already said this. I've already thought about this. In case it happens, we know if that. I was told to, <laughs> <laughs> so like if, if I was told to sign a prenup, if I was supposed to sign a prenup, there would be a clause in there. It would either be if you cheated or you did something wrong for this marriage not to work, I should get something, which I agree with. Most prenups are that way. Yeah, yeah. most that prenups would be are that way. So it's not like I would go out here trying to do whatever, but if you messed up, then I, yeah, I'm entitled to things. And when I mean you're gonna die, most men die before women anyway. So I'm yeah, going to enjoy it. the money. You want to travel yeah. and go to Italy? I'm coming with you. You don't that's, want me that's to why come we got wills. somewhere else. That's why we got wills. Let's see. Let's see. So, pass so our to say, now to, to our kids, this is where I get into that. Our brothers and, and stuff like that. What you saying, T? This, this is where I get into that. Um, and I don't mean I don't mean it in a, like I'm, I'm trying to throw any shade to you when, when you say it. But when I hear women say that they're entitled um to something what's the difference if he was a broke man you know what i mean like you know you walk too. away you walk what i mean is if you're with a broke man you ain't and he ain't got those money. dollars and he cheat on you you ain't getting nothing exactly. you're gonna be broke back with with some kids exactly nine times i inherited out of, the brokenness. Then, you know i got something out but of see it. that's the why brokenness. but that's why these that's why these men with money treat us women that way like we're coming after them for that because exactly. It, it, it comes really across think, like I don't want to deal with this broke man, or you know, like that's why I say I'm gonna hold up, Moji. That's why I said if if I'm with a man and he got money, I'm gonna tell him to give me a prenup. You know what I mean? Because for one, I'm marrying you, I am gonna stay with you to the end, which means that that money we're gonna enjoy. I ain't got to worry about the what ifs. Not only that, I'm already gonna be stacked enough on my own because I'm gonna be like stacking money, go on your a little a backup plan. No. How would I go on my knees and propose, girl? Oh, you that's what it's, no, I mean, that's what it I'm sounds just saying, like. I don't, I don't, I don't. That's, how does that sound good. like that? Because I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying, saying that I need this man's money. No, I don't need his that, money. I don't need real. to propose to let's him. Let's be real. I'm being 100% real. 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 No, no, I'm, 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 I'm going to say this. Most rich men, the women they go for are the women that don't have money. They're not. No, they're not. The women that they go the women. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you real talk. The The rich men. The women they go for is the women who be like, I'm going to pay half of that bill. When they see those women in there, they buy a stack at the bar. That's the dudes. They go for the women who can match. They fly. They're not going for them girls who are sitting there talking to any man. 
because he got on some nice shoes and he buying drinks at the bar. That's not who them rich men are going oh, after. Like, them rich men, nice them shoes, rich men want, rich. they want somebody, you know what I mean? No, I'm saying, they, that's, that's for somebody. They, they already, they already, these rich men already know because they were ugly and broke at one point in time. So they already know that now they got money exactly. all over and flocking that, to them. That, so they're not the going after these women so. like that. They're going after that's women that, who are really and truly about their business and mm-hmm. elevating them because they need to manage that. They're not going after the ones who are, they just want a trophy wife at the time. It, She's it, part it, of exactly. his They build them up to make their own businesses. Most both, of these rich men both for y'all touch the good up. both of y'all touch the good uh both of y'all touch the good point. Both of y'all made a very valuable point on what you're saying. But let, let, let me let me let me break you down a little bit further. It's not that that Amina think the guy go for women that doesn't have any money. It's because a lot of the times that the women that put themselves together and look great, they're, they're that that they're the, the women that they go after that like like T back to what T said they want a trophy wife right, so his trophy wife is now the broad that put herself together so she can attract a guy like him. He knows that he can't get a girl like that before because before he got money he couldn't get. Just like what T said, he couldn't get that type of girl because because the type of person he was before that. And now he can get that type of girl because of his money. What do you think a guy like that is going to do? Well, well, now he should protect himself. So he exactly. should protect himself now. A guy like that. Now that's different, you though. You should protect yourself anyway. Not at, not, 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 not at all costs. Not 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 at all costs. Though not at all costs. At all costs. But most of them won't. Most of those won't. Most of those guys won't. They'll just be so excited to have a pretty girl for a chance. Razor, what you saying? No, I, I think you should protect yourself because like like I said, sometimes you don't really know somebody's true intentions because you, you could be there with somebody for, for 10 years. years and you don't know what they are, their intentions are. So you should protect yourself at, at, at all costs. Now, all costs. Yep. Now, 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 if I have a woman and, and, and you know, we signed a prenup and she come and I'm rich and I got money and, and she said, hey, I want to own a business. I want, let's do something together. Let's let's create our own money. Let's create our own wealth. Exactly. You know? Then then that's what we could do together yep. because I'm not going to stop you from making your money. In fact, I want you to make money. So and that's if good. You, and, and so if you come to me, and we like, hey, baby, let's create some money together. Then then we are for it. But you sh- I, I don't feel like, you know, I should not protect myself. I should. You know, that's what yeah, they, no I, one is I, saying that you shouldn't protect yourself, but like, like you were saying, like I was saying, and then you agreed on at the end of the day, these rich men were not used to a certain type of women. So when they get it, they know what these women are looking for. They're not looking that's for why they got prenups. That's they why do they got prenups. prenups. I agree. I agree. You want to do a prenup? That's fine. But most of these men, they don't need a woman who makes a bunch of money. They make the money. They're bringing home the bacon. They just want a girl who looks good, that just does what they tell them to do, and just looks good on their that, arm when that, they go that's wherever. True. A, lot that's insecure, a lot of those are insecure men. Yeah, they have but no That's, sub- that's where no the money is, is within that insecure men. Most of the richest men are the most <laughs> unattractive <laughs> men in the world. Like, I've done my research, okay? That's, that's cool. I, 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 that's understandable. I, I, know, I know a lot of them. I know a lot of rich men, but that, um, that's not what they're going for. And a lot of them that. are single, and they don't want that kind of so woman. They don't want a woman who wants them for their uh, money. <laughs> in, 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 my, in my mind, because you know, all of us have different thinking. Like, short men feel like if he meet a girl and he's rich, it's okay for him to marry her. And she take half of his money because she just, maybe she tricked him. And he felt like she, you know, hey, man, I see sharp man as a mark because that's what these because you you do your investigation. You 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 talk like them and you know what they are. So they call rich man marks. I do my investigation, too. They call rich man marks. They go there. They get they get these guys to get them pregnant. They marry him and sign conch sign prenups that say I get two, three million dollars. If you cheat on me, I get higher amount of money. I get more amount of money. I get a house. I get this. I get that. Here's my prenup if I'm a rich person and I'm marrying somebody. You get absolutely none of my money or we're not getting married. That's my prenup. And that's the final. That's the final on my prenup. Now, whatever we make together, we split half. I don't think it would be a problem because if the girl was around you that much and she says no, she'll just go with one of your rich friends. because She, she can go with one of my rich friends. How is that? How is that affecting me, though? I mean, no, you, acting like, you acting like that. That's, that's going to hurt me. That, that's, no, it's not. It's you not, know, you I'm, know I'm what? Got, you like, know what? A lot of women don't realize. A lot of women don't realize is that guys are willing to pass y'all around. 
And a girl, and these girls Razor, don't uh, care. Razor, am I lying, Razor? Listen, listen, listen. But that's the thing. Girls don't care. I'm going to text her and say, hey, call shorty. You got to understand shorty this. Shorty, I get this it. Is, this is the thing. This is 2021. Shorty, I get it. Shorty, I get it. I want you guys to understand. That's what it is, man. Like, I just want to say that there there are a lot of women um, who who make money Mm -hmm. and feel a lot of, um, how do you say, self-respect from making their money, okay? And there's women who don't want to work and they would want to get a rich man. That's all fine and dandy, but one isn't better than the other. One isn't more desperate than the other one doesn't feel like they, you know what I mean? That's, that's just your choice. And that's just my choice. Call them who money, you know what I mean? And we, we take trips and you know what I mean? I, I, I'm one of those women who's never been on a vacation because I ain't had no bay. I want to be around, you know what I mean? Where I know women who go on these vacations with these guys and they don't put them in the picture and everything. You know what I mean? I just I just feel more content with being with who I want to be with. Forget their money. You know what I mean? I'm going to make my money. I spoil myself. So it doesn't mean that the woman who's getting spoiled by a man is any less than me or I'm greater than her. We just got different choices. And I think that's what it really boils down to. That's cool. Uh, Moji, um, yeah. real quick. Uh, we don't have a lot of time because we're going to close out here. Um, finish off by what you were saying so I can make my last couple of statements. All I want you guys to know is that it is 2021. Women are not the way they were in 2000 or in 1990s. Their mindset is just like men these days. They don't care about being passed around when it comes to the money. They don't care. They think just like men. So that whole notion of, oh, well, you know, men pass them around. These women, women don't care. Like we need to get all that knowing logic that men feel like, oh, women, we're doing this too. These women don't, they want you. Some of them, they don't care. They don't care. So you're not hurting them. They're like, pass me around to the richest man that you see. Realize it's 2021. Ooh. Women Ooh. are not the same. That's Ooh, it. That's, that smoke came through clear. Hey, look, look, <laughs> here's, here's the thing that, you know, uh, and let me pour some water on your smoke. You think we give a damn if you want us, to, if you don't care that we pass you around? The reason why we pass you around, because we don't care. Come so on, we man. both two you, don't you, care you, you, people. You thinking... You thinking in the sense, if you're looking at the men, and when I say protect yourself, I'm also speaking to women. Women, you should sign, if you're the rich person, you should sign a prenup. But back to what uh, I was saying to Emoji. Um, listen, man, if you're the one hunting for a rich man as, as, a, as a woman, not you in general, but you're the one hunting for a rich man, you think I give a F if you think that me passing you around is that you doing something to me? You're not doing nothing to me. At the end of the day, if I'm if if I get you for a month and spend a couple thousand dollars on you, that's nothing. You're the trash that I just passed off to my homeboy down there. That that's how we that's get, how that's we gauge saying, y'all. Like, we're not saying you, that you're you saying. Don't. Can I finish? You're saying stuff as in as in that if that's gonna hurt a guy because you don't care if we pass you around. We enjoy hearing that you don't care if we pass you around because that's what we want to do. We want to pass you around. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it like it's to hurt you guys. I'm just saying. I know what you're saying, but I'm saying that that's what we want. We want to enjoy passing you around. I want to call Short Man that if Short Man wasn't married and say, hey, uh, I'm sending this chick over there to you, man. I had her last month and boy, (laughs) she boy, she a Hoover vacuum, my brother. Uh, She on her way. (laughs) Let her turn that vacuum on when she get there. And after you finish that the razor. We want to do that. I know. Yeah. I'm sometimes we I'm... feel like you don't want to be game to that. Tell no, us I'm that just... you want to do that from the table, and I'll pass you around to all of my friends. No, but what I'm trying to say is that because of the way the world is, and a lot of men, I'm not talking about you, but I'm just saying generally. I'm not talking about me in general because I'm poor. No, I'm what I'm saying poor. is like women just overall are just, we don't think the same as before. So nah, some certain women. things that you think don't affect oh, some women, women. Well, a lot of them yeah. don't. Well, some in my women, generation, they're, they're, they're definitely changed. They're not, they're definitely not the same. The era of the 1990s female and older is not the same. That's not true. There's a lot of them still out there. The, the fact that a lot of them and a lot of us are still breeding our daughters the same way. But, but here, here's the thing. It's just a lot of the times is that us as clown men choose to go after those women that put themselves together. That's after our money instead of going after the ladies that we know that's who we supposed to be going after. But we go after y'all. Want. Just no, it's not that we want, it's for the look because y'all style, style, style over substance. Notice that y'all never stick around, right? 
You notice that you well, get passed to the next rich that. man, and you pass to the next rich man. And, I don't know about that. Sudden, For me, I've always like, been your good. Your bodies get old. The thing about it though is, I'm putting yourself in the situation. We're not talking about you. We're talking about in general. You know, but I don't there, know I want to tell you something. There are some women that put themselves together that go to rich men, but are still up here, cook, clean. Because let, let me tell you, something. when you're with a rich man and you're not working, guess what? You still gotta be domesticated. You still gotta know things. So it's not like you're just sitting there looking pretty. Hey man, where, house where and I'm be a housewife. From, and some women are not domesticated, where, even when they I'm do from, look like a homely and trash bag. Where I'm from, cooking and cleaning don't add up to you getting a half of my money. You know, that that where I'm from, that that don't equate to you taking home half of my money. But this was a great conversation. I enjoyed it. It was it was Stevie and Fiery again. That's yeah, how man, I like the smoke. It. The smoke was real. The smoke yes. was real. Hey, man, this is the Anything <laughs> Goes podcast. I'm here with Emoji. I'm here with T. I'm here with Mr. Razor. I'm here with Sharp, man. Uh, sometimes we get... uh. We get uh, a little passionate about our points and our thought, but it makes for good TV or YouTube, whatever you watch us on, you know. <laughs> man, it's the Anything Goes podcast, man. <laughs> like, subscribe, share with your friends. You don't want to hear, you want to hear t- conversations like this. You want to hear the hey, real. Stop skipping the ads. We see yeah. you. They, you want to hear the real. You want to know that women want you for your money, and you want to know that there's still some players out here that if you ain't going to sign that prenup, you're going to get passed around to our short man on Razor because we don't play that. 